Hey guys, Smokey here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Two Point Hospital Diagnosis Rooms. Uh, these are very important for your hospital because it is where your patient will actually get told what is wrong with them. So, let's get into it. So the first room we have available to us early on is the general diagnosis room. Uh, it's run by a nurse and it's pretty basic for um, in terms of diagnosing power. Um, the room size is a 3x3. Three three. Um, you would not want to make this bigger unless you had a ton of extra room in your hospital. Um, and it requires three items, a door, the um, uh, easy scan, and the examination table. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your patient doesn't walk all the way across the room uh, to use this machine. You want the, any, and this goes for any room really, you want the patient walking as little as possible. So what you want to do is you want to grab your easy scan, and I put mine right here as soon as they come in. Uh, the door, if you disable the grid snap and pull it back just a hair, you're able to place the easy scan here. The next thing you need to place is the examination table. I place it here against the wall. It's close to the door without interfering. Um, in this room, you can add medicine cabinets to boost the diagnosis power. Um, bought with the in-game currency kudosh. Uh, we can place a couple of these in here. Um, so you get five on this back wall so take your time disable the grid snap and we're able to get more in the back here um i don't add anything else to this room other than these um i don't ever use this room actually one thing we need to place in here. So move your easy scan to here. That way you can place a couple. Oh, that's right. You want some fire extinguishers. Any room that has machinery in it, you want a couple fire extinguishers. Place two of them in here. Um, and hand sanitizer. Uh, heating or cooling uh, I need heating here on this map you can go up in here um, let's get a couple more medicine cabinets in here so that's 14 medicine cabinets I think we can get a hand sanitizer there um, yeah, that way your patients are coming in through the door. They can get the examination table or the easy scan pretty quick. I forgot that I wanted to place fire extinguishers, especially um, later on in levels. You start getting earthquakes and, and things that make your machines go boom. So try to place as many of them as you can. Um, for the easy scan, you want to make sure that you're upgrading uh, as quickly as possible because the easy scan gives 25 percent diagnosis power for every upgrade so by pounding that up to level three you'll get 75 percent more diagnosing power you know and then you got 14 medicine cabinets so you're getting an 85 percent diagnosing power people are already lining up for this next room is the cardiology you're gonna follow the similar same principles so we'll be fast forwarding through this but uh yeah you're gonna place uh you'll get another 10 or so medicine cabinets in here and just bear with me while i fast forward through this
So th same thing for the cardiol uh, cardiology room. So you want them as close to the door so they come in, they use the machine. Again, upgrade the heart racer, 25% diagnosing power. Um, and we're able to get 13 medicine cabinets in here easily with the uh, hand sanitizer and your heating and cooling option. Next room that we'll look at, so the ward, I've already built one. Um, take a look at my other videos. I go through how to build a awesome ward with seven beds. Um, it can be used to diagnose people as well. Psychiatry can be used to diagnose people, but I highly discourage it. It takes a very, it takes so long and you need a specialized doctor. Um, so don't do it if you don't have to. Um, another one is a fluid analysis again run by a nurse and we'll fast forward through the build three by three as well. So this room here uh, doesn't take medicine cabinets in it. And another thing I didn't do in all these other rooms was get it to level five prestige by using the gold star awards uh, dotted around the room. The game makes it so easy to get level five. You might as well do it. Um, the thing about the fluid accelerator, again, you want to upgrade 25%. Like I said, it doesn't have the option to put into this room um, any medicine cabinets so yeah so the next room is the x-ray machine um, the, now these ones are run by doctors and they give a higher percentage of diagnosing for this room I always go the th uh, not the you don't want to go on the corners because it's a, a far walk but yeah you put place the door in one of the middle two squares uh, you need to make room for the x-ray terminal so you go back just a little bit the doctor can fit in here um, and then what you want to do is you want to line some fire extinguishers especially important in x-ray mega skin because the machines are so expensive um, you want a couple of these um, hand sanitizer for the doctor large radiator can go in the back no problem uh, you can do a coffee machine if you want yeah. um, you can add you can add the stuff you want to add to these rooms um, nothing's needed really um, yeah one thing I put in most of my rooms is a chair but a friend of mine got me a work the idea again upgrade your machines 25% diagnosing power so the next room is the mega scan and this is our final room that we're gonna look at um, you can diagnose in the DNA lab but again these machines are so expensive and um, it uh, they take a long time so I keep them strictly for treating the DNA labs ailments. Um, Mega scan four by four. Place the door. I put the Mega scan right in the bottom corner like that. I slap four fire extinguishers on this wall. The reason why I put so many is in case I get sidetracked and they catch on fire and I don't catch it right away. Um, that way, if it catches on fire again, there's still backups of fire extinguishers that the maintenance can use to put it out. Because these machines cost $50,000 to place. Um, $55,000. I don't want to take the chance that um, it's going to blow up because I didn't have... Um, available a fire extinguisher like it doesn't make sense it's fifty dollars versus fifty five thousand um so make sure you have them coffee maker sure um 
get some little bit of extras in here coffee maker sweet dispenser I put a chair um, you're gonna dot the gold star awards around you should have done that too in the X ray do that in every room after you're done laying down the necessities to get it to level five doesn't really do anything other than makes your hospital more prestigious you want to put the chair in front of the control panel for the uh, mega scan so that if the doctor takes their animation there their idol there um, but they just have to stand up and go and hit the lever um, you can move the if you want to get really nitpicky you can move like these real closer to the doctor so that he's closer to that control panel at all times um, yeah go ahead and build again another important part here is upgrading the mega scan um, as it gives 25% extra diagnosing power so what you want to look at now is the skills that you want for your nurses or doctors so for your nurses it's simple you want them uh, trained in diagnose uh, diagnosis skill um, to run the general diagnosis the cardiology the fluid analysis I personally stay away from the general diagnosis car cardiology sometimes you'll see me use a fluid analysis machine but it's pretty rare I generally just stick to x-ray and more importantly the mega scan because of how much money you charge to use them but if you're going to use nurses you want them trained in the diagnosis skill you don't want them trained in pharmacy management because you want them only running diagnosis and it gets plus 10 percent so in terms of your doctors um the two doctor run diagnosis uh, machines are the mega scan and x-ray you want all your doctors to be trained in uh, radiology that are running these machines because it gives it allows them to work in mega scan but then gives them a 20 plus percent boost in the x-ray area and then you just want them filled up in the um, diagnostic skill um, other skills that you may find that they have um, that's okay to have is stamina because it lets them work longer without taking a break Bedside manner is okay here because uh, they get a boost to happiness, and that's especially true if you're charging more for your um, your diagnose your diagnosis in that room. If they have the bedside manner, they'll get an extra shot of happiness. Um, but yeah, that's it. You don't want them trained in in any treatment. You know, you want them running in the diagnosis section. Um, emotional uh, intelligence is okay. Whatever. But yeah, trade them up in diagnosis, get that extra 10% for every level, and make sure they have radiology so they can work in the mega scan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching the video. If you found any of these room builds helpful, let me know with a like on the video. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, if I if you do something different, let me know. I want to know. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.